she could go and celebrate. I can't, I can't wait! <laughs> well done, thank you so much. Well, one of the beauties of the Olympic Games is that someone with incredible talent who's put in four or five years of amazing hard work rises to prominence from obscurity. Four years ago, that person was Rebecca Adlington. This year, that person is Laura Trott. In her first Olympic Games, she's managed to get two gold medals. And this was the reaction on the Olympic Park as she flew around in that final lap. It was the 500 meter time trial. She knew she had to get in front of her opponent from the United States, Sarah Hammer. She did it. She was confirmed as the Olympic champion. And many ways against the odds because it was out of her hands as she entered the final event of the six of the Omnium. And look at the crowds gathered out there on the hill. The kind of scenes mark that when we've got the Olympic Games, people dream of, and there the flags rise, it's confirmed she is a double Olympic champion. It's beautiful to see, isn't it? You know, all the support here in the Belgium, all the support there at Dan, all the support from everybody watching at home. That's, that's why it's huge to represent a country, to make the country proud, and, uh, and they've done that tonight. It's a world thing tonight. And what we're seeing here is a direct consequence of riders when you were winning Olympic gold four years ago, and even before that, inspiring a new generation. And there's a lovely photo that we'd like to share with you at home, actually. But leave it off. There it is. Bradley Wiggins. Oh, yeah. We can't really the sort of time. We can't really the sort of time. We can't really the sort of time. We can't really the sort of time.